Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm doing yet another request. So the fancy fold box that I made that I had copied from a wonderful German demonstrator that had swapped with me. Um, I made her box and everybody asked if we could make this one bigger. So I sat down with my pencil and everything else and, and came up with this one that is just slightly bigger. So the the previous one, which I have a sort of a rough sketch of here, the boxes were two inches by two inches. This one is three by three. You can make it with two sheets of A4. Again, I try and keep um, the boxes or the card that I use something that's available to everyone you don't have to go out and buy a separate pack of um, 12 by 12 or anything crazy like that so this was made with two two sheets of A4 and again I did have a little issue with the <laughs> the fold in the top but I quite like it and to be honest it was really handy because it helped me use up some of my scraps that I have left of my DSP before we get new ones so here we are, I'll show you how to make it. You need two sheets of A4 as I've stated and to be honest it doesn't matter whether you use your trimmer or your scoreboard for this because there are they are really simple um, score lines. So the first sheet you need, I'm going to refer to them as A and B because otherwise it will get a little confusing. So Piece A needs to be 6 inches by 7 inches, which is 15 by 16 centimetres. On the short side, we're going to score at 3, and then on the long side, we're going to score at 3 and 6. And that is it for that one. Easy. Piece B is 7 by 7 inches which is 17 by 17 centimetres and obviously with it being a square you just pick a side and we score at half an inch three and a half and six and a half which is one centimetre eight and a half and sixteen rotate clockwise and exactly the same score at half, three and a half and six and a half which again is one, eight and a half and sixteen centimetres. So we can fold and burnish all of these score lines and I do want to make the box up before I do the, if you like, the fancy fold scoring just makes it easier for me to see where I'm going with everything. So piece A is the not square piece. Rightio. So I'm going to start off with piece A and we're simply going to turn it round so that the thin strip is at the bottom and then we're going to cut the right hand piece away completely and cut wedges into this piece. I just need to tie, tidy that, trip that up there because that wasn't a very neat cut at all. Okay, piece A is done. Piece B, so you have to pay attention to this piece because it will get confusing. So we've got this thin border all the way around. So on the left hand side, we're gonna cut away the small square at the bottom and then the small square at the top and this long piece at the top. So I'm gonna cut away the small square and just make that into a wedge. And again, just cut that away and cut all the way down so you have that piece left on that side. The two across the bottom 
are going to be wedges. So again, we're just going to cut the angles in the corner there and cut that away. Okay, so you've now got that at the, on the left and two across the bottom. The right hand side, again, we're going to create a wedge with this one and we're going to cut away this one. And at the top, we're going to cut all the way down between the two large squares. I'm going to cut wedges into this one. I wish this would stop moving. And then this one, we're just going to cut about two thirds of it away and create the tabs. And that is the piece that you should have left when you finished. Okay, some tear and tape needs to go on this tab at the moment. Because we just need to join the pieces together. Uh, where's the tool? Take the backing off and your tab here is going to join the top square there. So obviously you need to line up these horizontal score lines and also the vertical one here to make sure it's straight. And that is the basics then for your box to be made up. And all we need to do is to mark now on these four squares here where we're going to do our fancy fold. Now I went with on this larger one one and a half and two and a quarter for my angles. You can obviously do whichever you wish for your angles but I found this sort of worked with the size of the box because the box was being made slightly larger I figured it needed a slightly larger gap between if you remember we just go along now and join up all of these angles I now have my beautiful diamond shape just cut in there. Now I'm going to cut down this score line and I'm going to cut into this. Now I've left this one slightly bigger just because it helps when you're folding that fancy bit. Just cut those out. And I'm going to add my DSP at this stage because it's easier when your box is flat. So I have six squares that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters of an inch or seven by seven centimetres. Again, if you have a pattern, just check which way it's going. Obviously, I wanted all of my birds here to be facing the same way. Thankfully this one doesn't have um, a pattern on it, not one that needs direction anyway. Um, but just remember that this is actually the bottom, not the top, where you'd normally have this, it actually will be the bottom. Let's get that up there. And then for your fancy bits 
I actually had to measure and draw lines on this. So my gap here is three quarters of an inch. So I want half an inch to um, give me space to have that border like the rest of my pieces and just while I'm waffling then so I know that I need half an inch from that corner and half an inch in that corner and I drew my line and then just simply cut along that where's my snail gone and stick this on in place Again, I'm doing the same with for this corner now. So this corner needs half an inch and this top corner. And then draw those lines together and cut the angle. Oops. Preferably a straight line is helpful. Again, just pop some nail on there and my last one I will need it there and there join those up and then cut down the line if you've got a pencil mark on it, just like I did, you can just get an eraser Oops. and throw it on the floor. <laughs> Back in with my snail just for this last piece, which will now sit nicely on there. Okay, let's get some tear and tape on this corner. Again, this will be the join for our box. And just take that off there, fold that over, and then make up our box. And then obviously we have our bottom bit that closes up there. And then we need to fold the um, fancy bit which I'm always fingers and thumbs with but I kind of used my finger inside just to help guide where that should go and then again give these just a little assistance in which way they are meant to be going and then I did find that if you if you do the tab first because it's not got any sides to it the rest kind of seems to follow suit so in and up in and up and I also found that my bone folder worked wonders at encouraging which way things should go. It is a little bit fiddly and if anybody has found an easier way of doing this then I would appreciate it. starting to do as we're told now and there we have it there we go just takes like I said a little bit of encouragement right 
let's get some adhesive on these and then we can get this sealed up. So I'm again going with this tear and tape. And you do need one more on crazy, crazy panel. And then I did take the backing off all of them. And then obviously I've kept the bottom open because I need to put my hand in there to keep everything in, in check. Let's put these two inside for a moment and then pop that one down and then as I said we'll get it all going the way it should. No, you're going, that's better, thank you very much. We don't want you going that way. out in a moment because I want to get this stuck down while it's going where it should. So that goes on the corner and I'm just making sure that all of these pieces stick into a square and then as I said I then used my boring tool just to straighten out don't do it too much or too hard because you may just rip your um, card and then the last bit is to put our lid on and although that is a little bit untidy there which is typical when my first one was fine there they are a larger version slightly messier that one I'm afraid but you get the idea. You've had the measurements. Nice big fancy fold box. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being patient with me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.